Hello friends, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have a journal to share with you today. This is one that I finished yesterday. It's one that I made and I'm excited to share it with you. Um, I've used multiple different um, items from different shops. And what I'm going to do now, because um, a lot of times I just mention offhand the same shops over and over again, and you guys want to visit them and I don't always have them linked. So what I'm going to do is have I always have my Facebook group down below so if you go to that in the file section of my Facebook group there will be a document with all of these shops that I use so unless it's a specific project I'm doing for a specific shop um, in which case that would be linked in the description box below but otherwise if I'm mentioning oh this is from TLC creates vintage this is from digital curio this is from Avalon Rose you heard hear me say those over and over again I'm gonna have just a master copy over on my Facebook group and that way you can just look through all the ones that I love and use over and over again so this is a three signature I've taken a vintage um, book cover from a reader's digest book i liked the green it's almost like a almost looks like a denim or something um and i covered the spine with some fabric a fabric ribbon and this pretty little flat back um i think it used to be on like a brooch or something the front i did differently than i normally do i did add metal book corners and sorry silk closure i bought this sorry silk from victorian gypsy girl um so I love her stuff. So it's just a removable sari silk closure. And then I used Mod Podge on the cover to seal everything in. Instead of just having it all loose, I really wanted to preserve it better and just give it a try. And I like how it came out, I really do. So I started with this layer of this lace. And what I like, um, the Mod Podge made it really stiff and more durable but it has a really cool texture now and then some um, like a polyester Indian fabric I don't think it's silk but it's like from one of those rugs that I took apart here and then there's a strip of coffee dyed paper a little bit of printed paper from design lover studio that was left over from my last journal antique nature and then this journal is called The Pollinators, and I got that title from Mrs. Cogs. I purchased her The Pollinators kit. I think she might have multiple of them. I don't remember which one I got, but it had four pages of like butterflies and bugs and moths and things like that. So I've used a lot of those throughout, and that's one of her images. And then I have a key and a butterfly bottle cap there as well. So that's the cover. There's, let's see, 120 pages. And it's a size is about five by seven and a half. All right, so this is available for purchase in my shop. You can click the link below. It's in the junk journal section. If you don't see a junk journal section, that means it's sold out because I don't have any journals listed right now. So once I list this, there'll be one. And the way the shop um, is set up, I guess, when there's nothing in that section, the section doesn't show up. So. I left the original end papers because they were great and in great condition, but I needed to cover the spine. So I glued down some more of this paper here and that's from Design Lover Studio. And that's in just, you know, in the middle here, I have a fabric pocket. I think Joanne sent me this upholstery fabric. And then in the pocket, I have one of the journal cards from Mrs. Cogs. I love her a lot of them are public domain, so yeah, I could probably find them somewhere else, but I love how she puts them together, cleans them up, has different sizes. It makes it so easy. I absolutely love it. This is the second time I've purchased from her, and I've been extremely happy both times. So here's a little tag. You can color, and then a little vintage money from a game, I think. Some little uh, flat backs here. Some cardstock paper ribbon, a little beaded safety pin that my mother-in-law did. This is also from Mrs. Cogs. I just did a flip up. This is from a coloring book and um, you can just color that or do whatever you want with it. It's from a French book. And then I bought these papers from Antique Papery. It's called Butterfly House. There's, I think, six of them, six or eight. I think there's six of them. I fell in love with them when she first made them and I've been waiting to buy them to do a project, so I think they are incredible. So I bought them specifically for this. 
There's a Mrs. Coggs. And I've done lots of little collage snippets here. I embraced the white paper in this one. I do have coffee dyed paper as well, but I decided to not be scared of the white paper, the white sides, and I just added little bits of interest. And this is one of my large snippets. And I still have, I believe I still have some available, the angel ones in the junk journal supplies section, but they make great pockets. They're already pre-layered. So I just took one of them, made a pocket. Here's a wallpaper um, bookmark and a playing card. This is an old bingo card. And then this is from Mrs. Cox. I made a little wallpaper pocket here. And I have a, I'm not sure, I don't remember where this came from. And then this is Mrs. Cox. This was just left over in my stash. It's not 100% sure what shop that came from. So yeah, like here's the little, I've been just doing these little mini collages and putting them on part of the white paper. Love these papers. There's another little collage. This is a book page. And then I have a little butterfly, a flower, and a bead on this eyelet there. This is also Mrs. Cog's really pretty little um, like applique flip or doily flip. And there's a little leaf and a flat back. And then I used some of my new papers called Ghosted Butterflies. This is the first addition to my Dollar Digis section in my shop. Um, they're just papers, like six papers. I was inspired by Antique Papery because I keep going there to buy just little bits to stick in my journal, not complete kits. So I'm gonna have a Dollar Digis section in my shop and this is the first one I did called Ghosted Butterflies. And the way I layered the vintage paper, <clears throat> excuse me, the vintage background paper and the vintage butterflies just kind of gave this go almost like it like if you eco dyed butterflies i know that sounds terrible and i never eco dye butterflies but i'm just saying it gives that ghosted like image print and i think it's just beautiful so i've added this in the journal as well i have some of these texture paste labels left from my summer comes kit and I've used some of those in here as well. This is more of the ghosted butterflies. Little fabric. This is Mrs. Coggs. This is a vintage encyclopedia page with some stamping and inking. I mean, how gorgeous is this paper? Oh. So I just um, layered up some trim and a book page flower scrapbook paper, Mrs. Coggs. So it's mostly butterflies. There are other bugs and some other nature things um, in here as well. Butterfly would be the main. This was so much fun. I liked this page because I have a die cut tag here and it had a butterfly on it. And then I knew it needed something else. So I looked through my little collages that Joanne from Drunk Journal Treasures made me and I just glued it right on here and then it's absolutely perfect. So I love um, the fact that you can get pre-made collages and things, um, snippets and things from her that just take your journal to the next level. So check out her shop if you haven't. And here's a journal card. Nature is not a place to visit, it is home. So that was just a cut apart from a paper pad. And then I have some vintage floral slides here as well. This is from a vintage science book. Butterflies punched out. You could tuck something behind that. Joanne made this one as well. It's a little wooden bead hanging on that bulb pin. Butterfly stamp. This is just a piece of fabric. You could use it wherever you wanted. I just really liked the colors. And then this is for Mrs. Coggs and I just trimmed it into a tag. more of my ghosted butterflies. So they're only a dollar for the pages. Um, it's six pages, but when you fold them in half and put them in a journal, there's 12 sides. There's a little fabric flip, book page, scrapbook paper. This was also Design Lover Studio. So same kit as this paper here. Really pretty bird. This is some mulberry paper that Joanne sent me. And I thought that would be really pretty to stick in here as a page. And you can kind of see the butterflies through it. And this is one of my ghosted butterflies page pages. We have a little bit of wallpaper. It's a little um, 
Plex bought, and this is from TLC Creates Vintage. Little postcard collage. My ghosted butterflies, mulberry paper, Mrs. Cogs. I really love this ribbon. I had little pieces left over, but I still have some in my shop. Um, I don't remember what I called them, but <laughs> they're in the junk journal supply section. I have pink, green, and blue, and they come in um, packs of three yards. So definitely pick some up if you like that. It looks so pretty in the journals. So this is another postcard from TLC Creates Vintage, but I made it a pocket and then put a Mrs. Cog's journal card in there. I've done some stenciling, ghosted butterflies, antique papery. This one came out really pretty with its fabric lace and then a button. Just a little cut apart, a little bit of fabric. Here's a die cut frame so you could slip a picture or something um, behind that. Another vintage. And if you if you look at the right angle, you can kind of see there's some pink flowers in there. A little more of that lace there. It's a tuck spot. Oh, so gorgeous. I love her layering. Got a cut apart. Mrs. Coggs. Another cut apart. The poetry of the earth is never dead. More ghosted butterflies. So pretty. Wallpaper collage. Done lots of just little page collages. Mrs. Coggs. More of my ghosted butterflies. Tuck spot from Mrs. Coggs. I like the gold on that. That's scrapbook paper. Little stamp of a bumblebee. Mrs. Coggs. And then this was one of my collaged Rolodex cards. They're all sold out in my shop, but I had kept a couple for myself to use in journals. And so you can journal on the back or turn it into a pocket pocket or a tuck spot or whatever. Ghosted butterflies, Mrs. Coggs. Joanne made this tag. It says happy ending. So pretty. I love that sari silk. Oh, so gorgeous. So I tucked that right in there. And then I've done a fabric and a Mrs. Cog's collage on this page. Oh, I can take this off now. Um, I just put this piece of plastic down because while this was drying, I wanted to keep working. Oh, this is going to make an interesting effect, I think. There we go. I had um, decoupage this down with just a glue stick, and it, it's not tacky at all anymore. But it was when I put it down, um, and I wanted to work on the next page, so I put that piece of plastic down. Hey, bud. And then there's a double tuck spot. So behind the bag and in the bag, it's a cutoff bag from Above Par Crafts. And there are two journal cards from Mrs. Coggs. And I just added, this is that same as the pink ribbon I have in my shop, but it's blue. And when you buy the ribbon, you get one yard of pink, one yard of green, and one yard of blue. This is just clipped on here, but that's a see-through like an acetate. And then instead of a regular library card, I used one of the Chinese library cards that I believe it was Sophia from China sent me. And then just a little um, stamp sticker right there. So that is this one available in my shop. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you go join my Facebook group if you want to see a list of all these shops that I keep excuse me, <clears throat> that I keep naming over and over again, um, that will be there in the file section. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.